Some people are happy to download and install the latest software update for their gadgets, but others tend to not like when things change. This can cause people to have to relearn basic tasks and force them to hunt down where their favorite features have moved to. But there are also times when a new Android update introduces critical bugs to their smartphone or tablet. This can cause issues like a massive battery drain bug, poor performance, a laggy user interface, or even broken apps and services that end up force crashing in the background. While I rarely recommend that they should downgrade to an older version of Android, I do understand that sometimes there isn't a better option. If you're having an issue with the latest Android 13 update on your Samsung Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, or Galaxy S22 Ultra, the first thing that I recommend is you try to perform a factory data reset so that you can get things back to a clean slate. This is something that not everyone wants to do, but it is normally your best solution to fixing bugs that were introduced from a new Android over the air update. However, if you really want to downgrade, then that is something that I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Downgrading a Samsung smartphone or tablet is only possible if the BIT number matches. I like to use a website called SamFW.com to download older versions of Samsung firmware as they include this piece of data in their download page. So if you're wanting to downgrade the Galaxy S22, then find the smartphone model on this website and make sure you see the same numbers in the BIT column here. Since the first Android 13 over the era update is labeled BIT2, and the last Android 12 over the era update has the same BIT number, then we can successfully downgrade from Android 13 down to Android 12. This tutorial will also work if you want to downgrade from your current Android 13 firmware to an older version of Android 13, and will also work if you're wanting to go from a version of Android 12 to an older version of Android 12. The process is only dependent on making sure that the BIT number is the same as the firmware you're wanting to downgrade to. To begin, we need to download the firmware that you're wanting to downgrade to, and we need to download a copy of Odin to flash the firmware with. I'll be linking to a video in the description below that will show you how to download old Samsung firmware, and I'll also include another link down there for the same version of Odin that I'll be running here today. Once the firmware has been downloaded to your PC, you're going to want to extract the contents of both the firmware that you downloaded as well as the version of Odin that you downloaded as well. This is the firmware file that we downloaded from that website and it has been extracted into this folder here. So once you extract the contents of that firmware, you should see five files that have been extracted. We're going to open up the Odin program and load four of these five files into that program. But first, we need to boot the Galaxy S22 into download mode. I've already done a tutorial detailing how this is done. So if you're not familiar with this process, be sure to check the video description below for a link to that tutorial, which, de which will detail all of the steps that are involved. Once the phone is in download mode, 
you're going to want to bypass this screen by pressing the volume up button. And we want to keep the phone connected to the PC with a USB cable so that Odin is able to transfer the firmware files to the smartphone. We can see that the connection is successful by looking at this row of Odin and making sure that you see a detected COM port in one of these slots here. It could be on this one or this one or this one. It just depends on which USB port your phone is connected to. Now we need to begin loading those firmware files into Odin. We can start by clicking the BL button right here. Then you want to browse to where we put those extracted firmware files into and then look for a file that begins with the letters BL. So we're going to select the BL file and load it into the BL slot. Now let's click the CP button and then search for the file that begins with CP. Now, after we click the CSC button, I recommend that people load the file that begins with CSC, as that will instruct Odin to wipe the device clean when the downgrade process is completed. You can try to load the home underscore CSC file if you want, as that will tell Odin to keep all of your data intact, but I cannot recommend this since any underlying issues with your firmware may still be left floating around if you don't wipe the data upon downgrading the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Lastly, we're going to be clicking the AP button right here and then loading the firmware file that begins with the letters AP. You can see that this is a very large file, so it can take some time for your computer to load it into Odin. You're likely going to see Odin go not responding while the file is loaded, and that is normal if you see that. Just be patient and it will eventually work itself out and you will see that AP file has been loaded into the AP slot. Again, we're just going to be waiting patiently as Odin takes the contents of that big AP file and loads it into that slot. There it went. After all four of these files are loaded into Odin, make sure that your Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, or Galaxy S22 Ultra has a secure connection to the PC via the USB cable. And when you're ready, click the start button right here to begin the process. I'm going to show you my options panel right here in case you have messed with these in the past. We're going to be keeping the auto reboot option selected so that once the process is complete, our Galaxy S22 will reboot on its own. So when you're ready, just go ahead and click the start button right here. Now this will take a bit of time to complete as the program Odin needs to extract all of the smaller files that are compressed in those firmware files that we downloaded. That big AP file contains many, many files 
as you can see in the log section here, all these files are needing to be extracted from that file, sent to our phone, and written to that partition. As long as you do not see an error message anywhere in Odin, up here, or in the log, and you don't see any on your smartphone either, we're just going to leave the phone alone and wait for the process to be completed. You never want to interrupt the installation process when flashing a firmware as that could end up bricking your device. Not only will you see a progress bar right here, but you will also see a progress bar on your Galaxy S22 as it is being flashed. You're going to see that it takes a long time for bigger image files like the super.img to be transferred to your device. That's why you want to make sure you, your USB connection is stable and that nothing is going to interrupt it. The amount of time that this process takes will depend largely on various factors like how fast your computer is, since the computer itself needs to extract the contents of these firmware files. It will also depend on how fast your USB port is, since that data has to be transferred through that port. And it also depends on how fast your USB cable is, since again, those files need to go through that cable to your device. It's best to just wait patiently, make sure that you're not seeing any error messages here, and you're not getting stuck on any of these files. As the process finishes up, we're going to be looking for a green pass message right here in Odin. Once you see that, you are safe to unplug the smartphone from the PC as your phone should have rebooted on its own. As the phone boots back up, assuming you selected the regular CSC file, we are going to see the phone take us to the Android activation screen. Again, assuming you selected the regular CSC file, this first boot back into Android will take longer than normal since it has done a factory data reset and the operating system has to set everything back up again. So I'm just going to skip through this activation screen and get us to the home screen. Now that we have booted back into Android and are at the home screen, we can visit the About Phone section of the Settings application to double check that we have successfully downgraded the Galaxy S22 from Android 13 back to Android 12 with One UI version 4.1.